Question number 41 is two spheres of same material have radii 1 meter and 2 meter are at temperature of 2000 Kelvin and 1000 Kelvin respectively. The ratio of the energy radiated in unit time. And you know by Stephen's law, the energy radiated per unit time is equal to sigma t power 4 the multiply by the surface area. Now, energy per second in first in the second case will be equal to t1 power 4 into a1 divided by t2 power 4 into a2. Now, it's a spherical surface, so area will be equal to 4 pi r square. That is t1 by t2 power 4 into area that is equal to r1 by r2 power 2 pi cancel out. Now fill the value t1 is given 2000 and divided by 1000 and power is 4 and the radio ratio is 1 by 2. So that is 16 divided by 4 which is equal to 4. So p1 by p2 is 4 so correct option is the question number 42 is the color of a distant star in the sky is an indication of its size, so distance, mass or temperature. Now see, there is a star and you know that the color of the star, that means the wavelength and wavelength is directly influenced by its temperature and that is from Bain's displacement law. That lambda into t is equal to constant. So, higher is the temperature, shorter will be the wavelength. So, and that is related to the color. So, the color of distant star is the indication of its temperature. When it is fresh, it's white, and when it goes old and old, the color changes toward red and cherry red. So, answer to this question is 4. The question number 43 is the top of the lake is frozen. The air in contact with the surface of the lake is at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Then the maximum temperature of the water in contact with the lower surface. Now, dear students, you see this is the ice formation. And below this is the water in the lake. Now, outside temperature is minus 20 degrees centigrade. This is solidify ice. And you know that deep downward, the water is at 4 degrees centigrade, which is heavy. Now, this ice is going to be formed next. Now, what happens? As it comes in contact, so it's pulling the heat out as going from here to here. So, this temperature will be 0 degree centigrade and later it will solidify. So, here the temperature is 0 degree centigrade. So, answer to this question is 2. A 5 liter of vessel contains 2 mole of oxygen gas at pressure of 8 atmospheric. The average translational kinetic energy of the oxygen molecule under this condition. Now, dear student, the average kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 K into T. So, we need to find the temperature. Now, what is given? The volume of the vessel is 5 liter, that is 5 into 10 s power minus 3. The meter cube and the number of mole it contains is 2 and the pressure is given 8 atmospheric and 1 atmospheric is approximately this one. So, this is the pressure given. How will you find the temperature? Using gas equation, PV is equal to NRT. Therefore, T is equal to PV divided by NR. The pressure is 8 into 10 is power 5. The volume is 5 into 10 is power minus 3 and N is given 2 and R is 8.31. And you solve, this temperature come to be 240.7 Kelvin. Now you use here, the average kinetic energy of the molecule, so average is 3 by 2, Boltzmann constant 1.38, 10 is power minus 23, and the temperature is given 240.7. And you solve, Get the answer 4.98 10 is power minus 21 joule. And look, the option second is 4.98 10 is power minus 21 joule. So, answer to this question is 2. 
The question number 45 is one mole of oxygen is taken from 1 to 2 by the process shown in the diagram. What heat is rejected out of the gas? Now, dear students, we are going from 1 to 2. So, the pressure and volume both are changing. There will be some change of temperature. We will record that also. And you know that heat by first law thermodynamic is delta U plus delta W. This will calculate from the area and this will calculate by using delta U is NCB delta T. Now, first let us calculate delta W. That is no doubt the area below this curve. So, it's total area I have to take. That is equal to this pressure value is 600 and this value is 150 divided by 2 into the volume which is equal to 0.8 minus 0 0.2. And when you solve this, this comes to be 225 joule. Now, let us calculate delta U and delta U is equal to N C V delta T. But C V is not given and it is given that oxygen and oxygen is diatomic and for diatomic we take C V is R divided by gamma minus 1. And gamma is 7 by 5 minus 1 into delta T. So, right, delta U is equal to N is 1 into R into 5 by 2 and delta T. Now, so this is equal to 5 by 2 R delta T, right? And R delta T is equal to 5 by 2 and P1 V1 minus P2 V2. Because N is 1. So, delta T, I am using the equation that P1 V1 is equal to NRT1 and P2 V2 is equal to NRT2. Now, fill here 5 by 2 and P1 V1. P1 is 600 and V1 is 0.2. So, 600 into 0.2 minus P2 is equal to 150 into 0.8. Now, this, these two values are equal. So, this comes to be 0. So, delta U is 0. So, I write here delta Q is equal to delta U which was 0 and delta W you have calculated 225. So, the total heat rejected is 225 joule and let us look at the option. The first option is 225 joule is the correct answer. So, answer to this one is 1. With this one, we finish the whole exercise hoping you will get some good results in future also and keep working. Thank you very much.